In today's episode of The String Report, we are reviewing the new Aerojet irons from Cobra. A lot of explosiveness, a lot of ball speed and distance. And I have Kevin Kraft here uh, to hit some shots on TrackMan. We'll tell you everything that you need to know about the Aerojet irons. Golfers, if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. Give this video a like and then tell us in the comments what you think of the new Aerojet irons. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold with Second Swing Golf, joined by Kevin Kraft, master club fitter from our Columbia store in the Twin Cities today because we got some new clubs to review. This is the Aerojet Iron from Cobra. Um, we've already reviewed the driver, well, all the drivers, and yep. we found that Aerojet kind of just means aerodynamic and explosive and a lot of distance, and yes. I would imagine that carries over into the iron. I'm thinking it's probably going to, yes. yes. Yeah. yeah, I think there's a lot of explosives packed in there. There's technology and Cobra irons in the game improvement category have just been leaders in distance. They have been very beastly mm -hmm. in terms of distance. Yeah. Yes, um, definitely some of the longest stuff we've seen over the last couple of, couple of years. Mm -hmm. So what do you think when you look at that club? What do you see? I don't, I guess from my angle, it's not a very large game improvement iron. It's not huge. And I think they've refined the shape a little bit. It does not look uh quite as beefy in the back yeah. as the last couple generation if there's been a little bit of a criticism of it it's that it does have it has had a little bit uh too big a profile yeah. in the back okay. uh, at address so it looks like they've, sure. they've kind of addressed that and made some changes while i'm quite certain they've not given up a, an inch in, in oh, its yeah. performance. They never would. Uh, yeah. They never would. But I, I'm, I'm with you on that because there's been a couple models in the past where you have kind of seen a little bit of that yep. kind of behind the, uh, the top line there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think that is something that a lot of golfers probably gave some feedback on. And yeah. Cobra's definitely responded. They've answered yep. that call. So Absolutely. Um, in terms of technology, the power bridge waiting. Now it's also in the drivers yep. um, in the fairy woods. So you're it's face flexing I mean, yeah. it's just gonna optimize that face flexing really as much energy as possible yeah. off of that face so ball speed ball speed ball speed yep. it's all gonna be there it's, it's gonna be explosive across the entire face. Like, like a jet taking off yes. yes yeah yeah it's uh there's it's funny they named it aerojet i mean it's funny how that it's works. funny yeah it's yeah. funny how that works up uh, power shell face design been in cobra irons for a while mm -hmm. they're not going to go away because it works it does um, yep. uh, a lot of explosiveness consistency across the face as well <laughs> Um, and then that HOT hot face technology as well. So, so many things going in there, but the ultimate, I mean, the reality is it's just, it's explosive, it's hot, yep. it's fast. And I think we're gonna see that in testing today. I think we probably are. I think we're gonna see it right now. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Mr. Kraft, that is a Aerojet iron in your hand. Yes, it um, is. Tell me what you see looking down at the dress maybe, I mean, we talked already a little bit about how you can't really see anything behind the top line, which has been Correct. a theme in prior Cobra irons, but yes. uh, tell me what you see there. So after what we just got done hitting, this looks like forgiveness. Yes. This looks friendly. It yes. looks it looks accommodating. A mm -hmm. um, little bigger blade length than what we had. Um, it's a nice shape. I do tend to typically like Cobra's shape pretty well. Um, we don't see the the sole or the, the the back end sticking out beyond, which is nice. Yeah. Um, decent amount of offset, but not certainly not really aggressive offset. And uh, you know, it's a good looking golf club. It frames up really nicely. Uh, pretty easy to line up. Good shape. I think it's yeah. It's good looking. It's yeah. really a good looking golf club. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of a, a nice natural progression of nice. what they've done over the last couple. Good. Of years. Good. Yeah. And I think you know, first of all, we should also touch on to the loft. So. Cobra, the Aerojet iron, it is at 26 and a half. 26. 26 and a half. And a half. So that's pretty strong. Uh, yeah. Pretty strong. Yeah, so we're going to see some big numbers, I imagine, okay. here in the testing. So. All right. Predictions? Predictions? Yeah. You're going to get close. I'm gonna, it, I've seen you hit some shots here. I know uh -huh. you're about a uh -huh. little over 170 carry usually with the 7 iron. With my 7 iron, yes. Which is different than the 7 iron. Oh, yes. Uh, over About 190. Five and a half degrees. Difference. Over 190 carry. Okay. 195 carry. Okay. Let's go with that. I think that's probably pretty fair. Okay. 195 carry. Okay. Wow. Well, okay. 190. 190 carry. It was only a 142 smash factor, so maybe I didn't get it all. Well, that's, that's pretty darn efficient, so. <laughs> you got to love a 1.4 smash factor with an iron. 
Ooh, even more speed. We're getting oh, closer to 195. Turned it just a little. I will say this iron's not loud. It's not. It not really at all. not at all. It sounds yeah. quite good. There's nothing nothing off-putting at all about the sound. Some of the game improvement clubs get really clicky. Yeah. This does not sound clicky. So the internal structures in here definitely mm -hmm. are, are right. working to kind of get yeah, us it, a, a really good. It's working. Good sound. You know, yeah. it's working. I mean yes. it's it's very soft sounding for sure. Yes, yes. Just missed that one. Got it just. Could have fooled me. And I caught just, it's, I think uh, I caught like just that, behind uh, it. Yep, that spin Took a lot down. of the spin off. That's how it got to my number Turned of 195 it. carry. Yeah, okay. So that's all you're trying to well, do. Let's see if I can get there without the added yeah. of. I, I was just saying, you're a really good tester. You're, you're doing, a, <laughs> doing a fair for me <laughs> trying to get to that 195. That's right. Oh, that's getting there. Yeah, she going left too, though. 196. 145 on the smash. Oh, there we go. Actually, hit that one. Must have hit that one solid. Yeah, you're in a rhythm here. There. Now I like I like that a little bit better. Getting that thing starting over over starting to the right. Starting over right, not better. turning over all the way yeah. left. Yeah. Again, lie angle on this, I believe, 63 degrees. It is 63 and a half. And a half. Oh well, that explains everything. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wow. I wow. tried. I tried to get to 95. I mean, in, on a good solid shot that didn't that's... include the mat taking off all the spin. <laughs> you got to look at these numbers. This is a 7 iron we're talking about, by the way. Yeah. 127 ball speed, 142 smash, 4,500 spin. Uh, plenty of uh, stopping power. Now, not as steep as yeah. some others out there. I think yeah. that's because of the loft. Yeah. But... I think you have a, a steep enough landing angle to expect the ball to stop on a green, especially if it's a softer green. Yeah, reasonably so. What was our peak height? What was our average peak height? What do you think it was before we looked? 110. 103. Oh, only 103. I okay. think there was a couple so, that were under 100 there. Really strong loft. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's, this is the one area where things get a little kind dicey as a yeah. fitter, right? We, we've got to a point where the lofts are so strong if we're not producing the kind of trajectory, then we can kind of get into an area right. where, where I might not be comfortable selling somebody an iron. Right. right? I want yeah. to see that, that landing angle mm -hmm. really get up there yeah. and the trajectory get up there. Right, and I think, I mean, certainly the distance is there, the explosiveness is there. Yeah. Um, but I think, I mean, we got to, like running through the, the, the lofts on the clubs, it goes from 26 and a half to 31 in the eight, then 36 in the nine. Okay. So you have four and a half, five degrees and then it's 41 and a half in the pitching wedge so 45 um, and a half degrees gap yeah. there so that's something that will have to be monitored i imagine yes absolutely you know when yeah. someone gets fit for this and that's yeah. the case with all these game improvement irons that's just the way they're yeah that things are going right now but even further down pitching wedge to gap wedge is 41 and a half to 47 and a half so okay so one of the things to keep in mind when you do come in and get fit at second swing you know, we will work with you down the line. Yeah. Uh, adjustments are yep. always complimentary. So if the gapping is off, if you're having a hard time with two clubs doing too much the same thing yep. or two clubs doing too, uh, too much not even close to the same thing, you know, we can make those adjustments for you. You're never stuck. Yeah. Yep. And I think we would always recommend someone before before buying get fit. I mean, that's it's oh. as simple as that. Yeah. Don't. And wherever you're buying your clubs, don't walk in, grab it off the shelf and leave. No. Um, because no. you don't, there's a very high chance that it could be optimized a lot better for your swing. So, Absolutely. Um, I guess we're using Aerojet Irons as an example here, um, yeah. but that's the case with any Absolutely. club that you 100%. buy. So, Absolutely. Um, but in terms of Aerojet, a lot of distance here, Yeah. Um, a lot of explosiveness, and I think you know the player looking for distance will find it with this club. Yeah. If you look at the two... If you take out the two that I kind of came over the top of yeah. and got turning too much to the left, if you take those two out where I just really got over on them just a little bit, yeah. the numbers actually got a lot better. And look at the consistency, yeah. right? Which is exactly what we want to see with any iron. Mm -hmm. uh, Distance-wise, very, very consistent. And 
taking those two where club face got shut down a little yeah. bit. It's taking some spin out. It's, it's taking right. some trajectory out. Landing angle got up to 47 degrees. Mm -hmm. So that's actually much, yeah. much, yeah. much better. So. That definitely improves things. And um, I mean, it's, it's not like we're not trying to, you know, warn people too much of that, that no, of course lost not. piece, but of it matters. Not. It matters. And it it's does. something that, and it's different with each of these irons yeah. in that category. So it's yeah. just something that, and when, that golfers should be paying attention to. When you consider that we took out the two worst swings, right? Yeah. Bad swings are bad swings. We're not going to get great results off of bad swings usually, yeah. right? Uh, if we've got some forgiveness in an iron or in a fairway wood or in a driver, right. you know, we can get away with things a little mm -hmm. bit better. But so we took those two out and all of a sudden, okay, well, the numbers really, yeah, they were exactly. skewed a little bit by human error. Mr. Kraft, testing complete of the Aerojet irons. Yes. Um, a lot of distance and explosiveness for sure in that test. It's kind of what we expected, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Um, I don't think you name a golf club the Aerojet unless you're expecting it to go a long way. Right, yeah. right. And whether that's the drivers all the way down to the irons, yeah. it's the case with this entire series. It is. Um, in terms of who this club is for, and I think we've talked about it a little bit, but because of that, that stronger law, I think I'll, I think for me, and maybe you can correct correct me here, but the player that just is really kind of out to in um, and ha generates a lot of spin, maybe sees mm -hmm. that ball sail in the wind, um, could benefit from a club like this. Sure. Um, you know, it's a game improvement golf club. Mm -hmm. It's designed to help you. It's designed to help uh, create a lot of ball speed. The question mark is, is the loft of this seven iron at 26 and a half degrees is there enough in here to also help get the ball you know really up in the air mm -hmm. uh that's gonna be the thing to, to kind of remains to be seen yeah um my guess is they wouldn't have released a golf club that's just gonna go out and hit bullets right? yeah yeah because yeah. yeah. a, a jet doesn't go this way a jet goes this right, way so right. uh, i'm expecting that we're gonna right. see see that ball get up but um yeah, somebody that, that does cut across it, right, and and maybe adds some loft to it. You know, I don't want to I don't want to to have it be so that those who cast early yeah. are rewarded for that. Yeah. I'd, I'd rather fix that than than, yeah, uh, than right. anything. But um, again, if we have if we have golf clubs that are able to help us with mm -hmm. uh, with our human flaws, then that's right. It's good. Yeah, it's and helpful. that's where this club falls in. I mean, game yes. improvement iron. It's yep. going to help golfers yeah. um, with their swing flaws, and yeah. we all have them. So um, I think, you know, well, what? You don't think you have any swing flaws? I definitely I, have swing no, flaws. I mean, I'm just giving you a hard time. Well, I know I have swing flaws. I'll say that. <laughs> I've when I say it. we, I mean me. I've seen it. Yeah, I know okay. you have. Yeah. I know you have. Yeah. Okay, maybe I need the Aerojet irons. Uh, so golfers, Aerojet irons, get fit today at Second Swing Golf. Uh, someone like Kevin Kraft, one of our expert master fairs, will take care of you. Get you set up with a new iron set. You're hitting longer shots, straighter shots at the target, playing better golf. So, Kevin, thanks for joining us, making the trip. My pleasure. A lot of fun, and Aerojet will be awesome in 2023. Yes, yes, it will. Thanks for bringing this cold weather in for me. Oh, too. yeah. That was awesome. Yeah, of course. Yeah, really good. Always accommodating. Yes. <laughs>